Hey everyone, it's Wabi in the lobby of TCO Performance Center. It's time for another edition of the Pick 6 presented by Sleep Number. Thank you to all of you out there who sent in your questions. Let's get to work. Question number one comes from Miles. Any idea what kind of changes we might see on the offensive side of the ball with Filippo in charge? Well, Miles, remember, John Filippo is new and quarterback Kirk Cousins is new. Aside from that, though, the Vikings offense comes back intact from last year, and it was an offense that scored about 24 points per game. So I think John Filippo is a smart guy. He's not going to come in here and change a whole bunch of stuff. You might see some new wrinkles, some RPOs, maybe some zone read, definitely some bootlegs because Cousins is mobile. But Kyle Rudolph, Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen, Latavius Murray, Delvin Cook, those guys are all the same and they're pretty good. So it's not going to be a wholesale change on offense. Question number two comes from Frank. Do you think the Vikings have a chance to pick up a decent offensive lineman in the draft or after the June 1 cuts? Definitely, but first remember, our offensive line is coming back. The one we had last year that improved so much from 2016. Riley Reef, Mike Remmers, Pat Elfline, Nick Easton, even Rashad Hill developed really well last season. Those guys all come back. With that being said, the draft is a great opportunity for the Vikings to add more talent and depth up front. Colton Miller, Connor Williams, Isaiah Wynn, Frank Ragnow, Billy Price, James Daniels, Will Hernandez, just a few names who could be there when the Vikings are on the clock early in this year's draft. All of those guys can help us. Question number three comes from Jack. With the loss of McKinnon, will players like Mack Brown move up on the depth chart? Or will the Vikings look at the draft in free agency? Well, yeah, someone like Mack Brown does get an opportunity to compete for playing time. And don't forget about CJ Ham, the converted running back who's now a fullback. He can carry the ball, he can catch the ball, and he can pass protect as well. With all that being said, this draft class is really good at running back and it wouldn't be a surprise if the Vikings got another one. The next question comes from Sam in Pennsylvania. Is it fair to say that if Laquan Treadwell doesn't step up this year, he will not be with the Vikings next year? Well, maybe it's fair to say that, Sam, but let's not focus on the outcome of next year already. Laquan has a chance right now with the offseason program set to launch in a couple of days to make some improvements, continue to earn playing time, and continue to earn the trust of Kirk Cousins and John D. Filippo. Laquan has a lot of talent. He's also got a lot of competition for playing time with the signing of Kendall Wright, with Stacy Coley, and with the draft coming up. Can't wait to see if Laquan can step up to the challenge. The next question comes from Henry in Fresno, California. Will Stacy Coley finally get a chance to show his talent? I think he is a strong candidate for WR3. No doubt about it. In fact, we talked to Reggie Wayne at NFL Network about Stacy Coley. Reggie, who's going to be a Hall of Famer maybe someday, he's got a lot of faith in Stacy Coley, so maybe we should too. But that WR3 spot is going to be fun to watch this offseason and this training camp to see who can emerge. Our final question comes from Chris in California. Where do you see Jaleel Johnson this year in regards to playing time? Do you see him making an impact with those snaps? I'm optimistic about Jaleel Johnson. The Vikings drafted him last year, but we were so deep at defensive line that it was tough for him to crack the lineup. With Shamar Stephan and Tom Johnson gone, though, Jaleel has a chance to be the primary backup at defensive tackle behind Linval Joseph and behind Sheldon Richardson. So I'm excited to see what he can do with that opportunity. He's got great coaching with Mike Zimmer, George Edwards, Robert Rodriguez, and Andre Patterson, and he's in a great environment on a great defense. So it'll be fun to see Jaleel Johnson develop. That's it for this week's edition of the Pick 6. We'll be back next week, of course, so please continue to submit your questions through the email address at the bottom of the screen. In the meantime, Stay tuned to Vikings.com. The off-season program launches on Monday, and we will be there to capture all of the guys coming to TCO Performance Center for the first time to start working out and getting ready for 2018. See you next time.